And the first card is a、um, gray or fair-haired person, so somebody that is going to involve、uh, helping you make a decision for the future, or it's going to be very, very important in how your future emerges.、Uh, this gray or fair-haired person. They're certainly going to feature quite heavily in it.、Uh, you've certainly been moving on. Your pathway is opening. You're establishing yourself. You're laying down strong foundations of here. You can see these are redwood trees, and they have really big、uh, um, trunks and and very very deep roots. So whatever you're doing, you're very, you're grounding yourself quite nicely, and you know your pathway is opening up. You can see that it's not a narrow pathway. It's quite clear, and you know your future is is looking bright really. You've got the victory card over here. So whatever problems and difficulties you're going you're going through, you will overcome it. There's pause for celebration over here. On the other hand, you might be attending a lot of events at the moment. You know this is going into the Christmas period, and so make sure you don't overindulge、uh, with that victory card there. You've got the the barrier card here. So you've been feeling as though you're very stuck, and there's a turning point、uh, that you've reached in your life. It's a clarity card. So something's come to light that lets you、uh, has made you see. Uh, you know what you want to do,、uh, and you're looking to the past and looking into your past experiences to try and make a decision. Like I said, this person, this grey or fair-haired person, could be a father figure kind of person coming in to help you make this decision for the future, and allows you to move forward in your career. Your luck, luck is certainly changing. You've got this horseshoe over here, so you know your luck is about to turn for the better. And you've got the gain card, so moving forward in a very, very positive way, and really going through quite quickly into the future. So things are starting to hot up, and you know it looks like your luck is changing, and、uh, you know. Changing for the better,、uh, good luck is coming your way, and things are starting to open up for you there. So, although you have been through a lot of problems, it looks like you're about to start overcoming them right now, and things are going to move pretty quickly for you soon. You got the Hierophant over here, the Page of Coins, the Seven of Wands, and the World. So you've got the King of Wands over here. So there could have been a new offer that came in, a new job offer that came in for you there with that King of Wands. Um, you know, somebody presenting you a new opportunity to do something really big,、uh, maybe even for travel there, and you've got the world card next to it. So whatever this offer is, whatever this job、uh, offer is, because the wands is about work,、um, you know, or, or、uh, projects that you're doing, it's got a very international flavor for it. A lot of freedom. Because you can see this、uh, person flying around this tree, and the tree represents the wands. So you know,、uh, you know, this is about、um, taking the projects and、uh, onto that international front. And this new job offer that came in with this King of Wands seems like it puts you onto the international stage there. There's a lot of difficulties, though. You've been dealing with a lot of problems and trying to sort that out. So, although it's it's something that's offering、uh, you a lot of freedom, there there's still a lot of issues that you have to deal with. Maybe dealing with a lot of difficult people as well, having to defend yourself all the set, you know, all the way.、Uh, maybe people coming、uh, with unexpected、uh, demands on you, and you having to to sort that out.、Um, you've got the page of coins there, so some news coming about money or even a new job. So you might be putting feelers out for a new job opportunity. Over there, or you could be getting a pay rise there. So this could be,、uh, you know, promotion coming in over there with that page of coins. There's certainly some news coming in about money. You've got the hierophant over here. So this is about taking on the role as being a teacher, or、uh, even thinking about doing some further training or further studying as well. The page of coins, interestingly enough, is also about learning and further study as well. So there could be some further learning and training coming in with this job that you're doing at the moment. Now. Let's see what's going on with you. You've got、um, the Eight of Swords and the Star. So there's something that you're dealing with that you're having problems with, some kind of issue.、Uh, you know, you're trying to sort things through. It could be something very scientific. It could be some kind of legal issue that you're dealing with. But you're feeling pretty stuck. Like you know, there's something missing. There's some information that you don't know.、Um, you don't know how to actually sort this problem out, and it's frustrating you as well. It might you might feel as though you know you are.、Um, Uh, hitting things in the dark, really not knowing、uh, whether or not whatever you're doing is making an impact. But there's certainly something th something that's not come to light, and you're feeling a bit stuck, very frustrated right now, not knowing how to deal with things. Now you will be guided、uh, because you've got the star card over here, so some kind of information will come to you unexpectedly as well、uh, to get you out of this situation. So whatever you're stuck in, it looks like the universe is going to be sending you some kind of guidance, some kind of inspiration. 
some kind of insight that comes in that allows you to deal with the situation. You've got the Page of Swords over here and you've got the Death card over here. So you weren't dealing with somebody that was really a pain in the bottom, shall I say. This person is very nasty, conniving. Uh, you know, they're, they're gossips. Um, they've been causing, stirring up a lot of problems. And it seems like you've ended that situation with them. Or whatever the situation was, it was very nasty and it seems like you've put an end to it and you're moving on. You've turned your back on this particular person or this particular situation and you're moving on to something new. So made big changes and came very, very suddenly as well. What's in your mind? You've got the Four of Wands over here. So you're thinking of going into partnership with somebody. Uh, maybe you're thinking of um, uh, you know, establishing a business with somebody. Uh, a new business venture is what you, you're planning on doing. Uh, but certainly some kind of thing where you're going to be working with somebody. And it's going to be very established. You've got the Four uh, Rods over there sitting uh, like at the four corners of the world. So opening up to something on the international front, broadening your horizons over there. Uh, maybe you're doing an internet business, but you're going to partner. You're planning on going into partnership with somebody over there. And you feel that it's going to make, um, you know, uh, maybe even signing a new contract with them, but you feel that it's going to be, uh, you know, something that's going to be very successful as well. So this is on your mind right now. So what's going on for you? You've got the six of coins over here. So you're trying to negotiate some kind of financial deal over there with that six of coins. Money is coming in for you and you have a choice uh, maybe two people vying for your abilities there and you are negotiating uh, some kind of financial contract over there with that six of coins. Knight of coins, this is about maybe needing to do some further training, further studying, further learning with regards to work. Also a need for you to do research as far as whatever this new project is. Whatever you're working on as far as work is, it's a bit, it's a bit stuck. You can see there's horses at a standstill. And you will need to go and do some research. You will do some, need to do some kind of training to get yourself unstuck from this position. And there you've got the king of coins over here. So money will come. Um, maybe, you know, after you, maybe if you do a course or training, whatever this training is, it's going to be the thing that brings in the coin. So you will have to specialize further in order for you to make your career move forward. Because at the moment, things seem to be very much at a standstill. So in order for you to move forward, you will have to do some kind of further training or further learning. It looks like there is an offer coming in and it's definitely going to be an offer that pays you a lot more money. There you are negotiating finances over there. And then you've got the king of coins. So this is talking about money coming in. So whatever this new job is that you're going to be doing, is going to involve training, but it's also going to be a better paid job for you. You are working on your finances. You've got the Empress card over here. You are worried that you're going to have to start from scratch all over again. This is the new cycle. There's a lot of anxiety going on around there, but you are focusing on yourself and your career for the moment. Now, going to the future, you've got the King of Swords, Knight of Swords, and the Three of Swords. Now, this, uh, you know, swords are... Uh, um, elements of Gemini. King of Swords is about maybe a decision. You're finally going to make a decision about what you want to do and um, sign contracts about it. There's news coming in about, uh, you know, uh, coming to you very quickly. It's legal news that is coming in. Maybe a decision will be made if it's a legal decision and you get news about it. You have been butting heads with people as well. So there, there's a breakdown of communication as well. So whatever this news is, maybe you're waiting for some kind of legal news to come in. It's taking a little long to come in as well with that Three of Swords. Uh, there's some kind of, um, in some way, somebody's almost blocking it from getting to you, whatever this message is that you're expecting. And it's something legal, something very official, um, you know, and uh, it, it's delayed in some kind of way with that Three of Swords over there. So although it wants to come in with that Knight of Swords, it seems like people are, are preventing it from coming, becoming, coming to you as well. Now, you could be dealing with three other people as well. The Three of Swords is also sometimes read as working with a three-party situation and there's been a lot of conflict and this is causing a lot of a heartbreak. But this is also a card that is causing a lot of anxiety. So you're waiting for this decision to be made. It's going to be made, whatever this legal decision is, but there's also some anxiety attached to it. There's some kind of breakdown in communication over here. Now, we are going to a period where, uh, you know, um, everybody takes a Christmas break and the news that you're waiting for might be delayed till the new year. So whatever it is you're waiting for uh, with this Knight of Swords will get to you, but you might have to wait, uh, you know, till after the new year before you actually hear whatever is whatever that decision is or whatever news it is might uh, be a little bit delayed coming to you as well. So maybe you've been waiting for this new job. You've been had that offer. You're negotiating a salary there. 
but maybe their final decision to accept you for this new contract or this new job will only get to you uh, in the new year. That could well be the case. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Wolf Pack. And the first card is uh, intent. During this time, a partner or soulmate is closely monitoring your intentions. Your actions could make or break a relationship. Uh, so, you know, make sure that whatever it is, whatever decision you're making, whatever actions you're taking, uh, be, uh, you know, keep to your um, integrity. Make sure you're doing it from a very honest point of view. Uh, it seems like people are keeping a little bit of an eye on you. So this could be even about uh, to do with this new job that you're doing. Maybe they're uh, weighing, uh, weighing you up, deciding whether or not they want to give you this and maybe they're doing some research about you as well. So that could be going on. You've got friends. A friend's about to play an important role in your life. Nurture this friendship. A new friendship is coming your way too. A job offer may come from a good friend. A trip from a friend um, may be planned. So there's some friend that is featuring quite heavily. So, you know, you might get a job uh, with people that you used to know, people that you're friends with. Maybe that's where the offer comes from. On the other hand, you could be meeting up with old friends during the Christmas period, and that could well be the case. Maybe, uh, you know, getting getting together with old friends and having a good time. You've got the transformation card over here. So a positive time in your life, undergoing change for the better. Experiences are transforming you. Uh, you will view challenges more positively, and success will follow. Rebirth, balance, and psychic talents developed. So... It looks like, you know, whatever is coming in for you, it is coming in pretty quickly. There might be some delays due to the timing of it, but it's going to bring all of it. It's going to be very, very positive. There could be learning, training uh, coming in as well. And whatever this new job is, is certainly going to bring in the money. Uh, but like I said, you might have to do some kind of further training or further course uh, to get your career moving forward. Because you are a little bit stuck as far as your money goes and as far as your work goes over there. You might be working too hard and earning too little. And you might need to do this bridging course in order for you to make inroads as far as your career goes. Now, go. Uh, I've brought, drawn some cards from the fairy tale. And the first card is Unity. This is the Hierophant again. So there's some teaching or learning going on over here. So do the right thing for the right reason. And uh, this is about, you can see, going to somebody for to be trained up or you'll be doing the training. So it's, it's either you teaching somebody something, learning something yourself, or even doing a lot of research as well. There's some kind of expertise involved in the situation. You've got the ego card over here, an illusion of being trapped, placing too much of importance on material items, getting caught up in fear and worry. So you are very stressed out about this. You are feeling a bit negative about it. So you need to let go of that negativity. Uh, I know that, you know, everything is going to work out for the positive. Um, you know, you might be also working a lot, very, very hard during this period, because the devil card is ruled by... Um, um, Saturn, and that tends to overwork people, so you might be doing too much of work at this time. You've got the dreamer, so you're going to start off something new here. So this is a new avenue that is opening for you, a new change for you coming with the full card over here. So it says, embrace your true purpose um, and uh, begin a new adventure. So you're going to be starting, and like I said, even with the energy card, your path is nice and open over here. So whatever you're starting, it looks like you're going to go down the course of learning or training or something to do with education. Uh, it seems like you're negotiating salary at the moment over there. But whatever you're going to do, it's going to involve books and knowledge and learning and, and something to do with, with, with education. But it's a new adventure and it's a new pathway for you. And it's certainly going to bring in the coin. So just keep going and don't be afraid 